The question we hear a lot and perhaps ask ourselves is what is happiness? And while there is no right or wrong and everyone will respond to this differently, it seems like the society has already predefined it to us in a way that it's all about more. Being more, working more, studying more, achieving more, earning more, it's all about more. It seems like the more money you earn, the more work you get done, the more you study, the more tasks on your to-do list you have, the better of person you are and the more accepted and appreciated in our society you'll be. And while deep down inside, most of us know that that's not true or at least that's not how it should be. Many of us struggle with this mindset. I myself have been struggling with this mindset for a really long time, especially when I've started my own business at the age of 16 and I've ran into this mindset that I'll be happy only when I. For example, I'll be happy when I earn this amount of money or I'll be happy when I sell this amount of products or I'll be happy when my business reaches this point, or I'll be happy when I sell a thousand copies of my book. It always was about the finish line after which I reach, I should have been happy. Of course, that wasn't the point, but unfortunately, I realized that only after a very hard burnout. And after this burnout, I've achieved all those things and I've experienced a lot of positive emotions in the moment of achieving something, but it wasn't a long-term happiness. And after this burnout, I was too exhausted to enjoy all those achievements. And when I was neither physically nor mentally able to work anymore, I was some sort of pushed to take a break. So I went on this four day vacation to the seaside where I was doing absolutely nothing. And I remember at that time, I felt really horrible because I was doing nothing. And how in this world where everyone is rushing, hustling and achieving all those things, I would allow myself to do absolutely nothing. But in the meantime of feeling horrible, of not achieving anything, I felt really joyful, really present because doing such simple things as reading book, walking on the beach and just being in the cafe, not with my laptop, but simply observing what's happening around me. All of that felt so joyful. All of that helped me to experience this life be mindful, present, and joyful. So after this four day vacation, a beautiful tan on my skin wasn't the only thing that arrived with me home, but also some really important shift in, shifts in my mindset, such as, first of all, that all those things I think I have to do, I actually choose to do. So why would I choose to hustle so much overwork, burn out, do all those things and achieve them when they weren't bringing me a long-term happiness? Why would I choose to not have time to meet my friends or call my parents and ask them about their day? To not have time for my own health and hobbies? Why would I choose all those things? The second important realization that happened in my mind which probably was even more important, was that all of those goals I set for myself are fine, but they don't bring me long-term happiness. So instead of paying all my attention and bringing all my focus towards the goal and the finish line, the final destination, I should focus on the journey and the process instead. Because how can I otherwise be present and joyful in the process of achieving something. So after this trip and after these realizations, I had to make some changes in my life to find a long-term happiness.
First of all, I needed to set boundaries, work boundaries especially, such as no work past 6 p.m. or turning off my emails during the weekend and prioritizing things in my life that are not just work-related. Society constantly tells you to prioritize work and make it your number one priority, but things like family, relationships, health, hobbies, and both physical and mental health are just as important, if not more. So prioritizing these things, slowing down and finding joy in the process are actually very simple. But those changes are the case for us to find a long-term happiness, slow down and find the meaning for ourselves.